Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be styling some of my old clothes to make them feel new for fall. This is part two in this series. I did a video about this a little bit ago. I'll link it here for you. And in that video, I talked about how I love to do this exercise every year to really make me fall back in love with the clothes I already have and see them in a new light and really start to appreciate what's already in my wardrobe and start styling things in new ways so that it feels fresh it not only helps me shop less, but also helps me really appreciate the clothes that I have and the clothes that I'm so lucky to already own. So I'm gonna do more of that in today's video and I'm going to walk you through the process. I'm gonna share an inspiration image that really caught my eye and then talk you through what I like about it and then how I'm able to translate that into my own wardrobe. So let's get started. This first image is from one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. She has such amazing style, and I think that she's got such a great personal style also. So she styles things that are very classic and basic, but the way that she wears them feels very perfect for her. So it's very inspiring. And I really liked this outfit in particular because it's black and white, so it's got that color blocking that I'm loving for fall. And then also I liked that it's one dramatic piece, but mostly just subdued classic pieces, which you know I have a lot of. So to recreate it in my own wardrobe, I pulled out my ruffle kind of Victorian collar blouse. Since I don't have something as dramatic as hers, that was the closest thing I had. And then I layered that underneath a classic cashmere crew neck sweater that I've had for many years now. And then I wore it with um, basic black pants because I can't really tell the pants she's wearing, but it kind of looks like that. And then I topped it with my new leather blazer because I like that contrast and the way that the colors and the, the textures all played together. And then of course I put on my beret because that's one of my favorite parts about this outfit. She styled it in such a way that looks so perfect and it doesn't look costumey, but it just looks right. And I like to hope that I achieve that as well with this because it's something that I really like to wear, but I'm always afraid of veering too far into caricature territory. And I think this look really nailed that. And then of course the sunglasses to complete it. And I don't have any in the oval shape like she does. So I just wore my basic black ones to kind of echo that color back. And I was very, very happy with it. This is definitely an outfit that I will be wearing a lot all through the fall and winter. This next inspiration image caught my eye because of one piece, and that's the blue blazer. I have that oversized linen blend blue blazer in my wardrobe, and this reminded me of that. It's a similar color and also kind of oversized fit, just like hers is. And then I started paying closer attention to the image, and I realized that I have most of these pieces. So I started playing around with the styling on my end, and I started things off with a white tank top. I believe hers is a little bit fitted. It might even be a ribbed tank that I opted for something slightly looser. And then I wore that with my very classic black pants instead of oversized pants, solely because I don't have oversized pants. And also because on me, I find that oversized and oversized gets lost. It doesn't translate as cool as I'd like. And instead it just looks like I'm wearing my dad's clothes. So I opted for a slimmer pants and it worked better for the proportions for me. And then of course I put on my pearl necklace. It's very similar to the one that she has in this photo and it's a really beautiful vintage necklace that I picked up recently. It's got these kind of Baroque pearls, but they're very teeny. I've heard them called seed pearls, but let me know in the comments if you know what they actually are. And that coupled with the tank top and the pants and the blazer was such a nice combination. I got the casual, but dressy, but tailored. And it was just so my style and not something that I would have done on my own. I was so happy with it. It doesn't get more classic than a tweed jacket. And I have a couple in my wardrobe that I've collected over the years, but I've recently stopped wearing them as often as I'd like. So when I saw this image, I was like, oh, this is perfect. I'm definitely recreating this for fall. And it's the perfect base for a look that I would definitely wear. So as you can see, first of all, she looks so chic, but she's wearing a really classic tweed jacket and then a basic t-shirt, something with a little bit more structure and something really casual typically. 
and then really light wash kind of casual jeans. They're a really classic cut though, and I think that the classic cut makes them feel less casual in a way. So I just loved all of this together. I love the tweed, which is normally considered kind of fancy and dressy, especially in my wardrobe, and then paired with the t-shirt and then the jeans. It's just a beautiful balance and something so practical for my everyday life. So I was very easily able to recreate this. I also wore my cap toe slingbacks. It kind of echoed the dark and the dark and then the cream and the light colors all together. But also I really liked them because they had kind of Chanel vibes <laughs> and this outfit feels very Chanel. I mean, her blazer is Chanel, but the outfit had that kind of classic relaxed Chanel essence. And I like how these shoes looked with it. Love this outfit. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this all throughout the fall and then definitely for many, many years to come. You know how much I love silk scarves, so anytime I see a really great outfit featuring a silk scarf, I immediately save it. And this is the one that I've been hanging on to for a while in anticipation for fall. So this is from one of my favorite fashion people to follow. She also has a YouTube channel. I'll link her down below for you. And I love this outfit because it's casual but still just polished enough. And I love that balance. So as you can see from her outfit, she's got a really beautiful navy jacket and she's echoing the navy in the jacket and the cream in the sweater in both her shoes and the scarf. So the scarf has both of the navy and the cream. And I don't have a navy jacket, but I do have a black jacket. So I decided to use that as my starting point. So I went with black and cream as my base. And I wore my very basic crew neck cream cashmere sweater, my black and white polka dot scarf, black jacket, basic jeans, and then black sneakers. You notice in her image, she's wearing white sneakers to kind of echo those colors, but since I don't have those colors and I was playing with black and white instead, I liked how the black looked. It helped anchor everything and kind of balance it out. And this is just so nice. This is something that's so easy to throw on, very easy to wear for every day, and something that's so practical. And a perfect example of how this exercise is great for kind of reminding you of basic outfits and things that you can wear and not have given a second thought to in the past, but as soon as you put it back on, you're like, oh, this is classic for a reason. This is something that I love. And this is a perfect example of that and something that I'm very excited to be wearing again. As you're going through this exercise, I think it's so important to not neglect any form of inspiration you can come across. So I mentioned in my last video that I get inspiration from Instagram and Pinterest, magazines, movies, real life, everywhere. There's just, there's no end to it. It's truly all around us. So this is a great example of that because this image is from a favorite designer of mine. They make such beautiful clothes. It's so out of my budget, but it's just so classic and timeless, but with that modern twist. And what I really love is a lot of their stuff comes down to styling. So this image from one of their recent lookbooks is a perfect example of that. It's a great way of wearing classic pieces, but the styling kind of sets it apart. So you can see it's a basic white shirt, a basic button down, but they've buttoned it all the way up. And then they've paired that with the leather blazer and kind of a lighter, almost faded black wash denim and then basic ankle boots. So I was very easily able to do this in my own wardrobe. I have all of these pieces. And by buttoning this, the shirt all the way up, it gave it kind of that cool modern vibe. And then it just balanced everything so beautifully. I tried this look with other shoes and the ankle boots are definitely the way to go. So I can see why they styled them with that. But I don't have an exact pair like this. And instead I've got my kind of chunkier block heel pointed ankle boots, but they still went perfectly. And there you have it. Those are some more inspiration images that I was able to translate translate into my own wardrobe and feel like I had new clothes without buying anything. I really hope that you liked this and like I said before, I'll link my other version here for you and I definitely encourage you to play around with this and have fun with it because it's such a great exercise for really appreciating what we have and not having our sights set too far on the horizon and instead focusing inward and really enjoying the items that are right there in our closets waiting for us. So I've got another one, at least one more in this fall series coming up for you. And then like I mentioned before, I'll be doing this regularly for the, the future seasons. So please feel free to share any inspiration images down below or anything you'd like to see styled because I would love to get your input. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.